More hot dish for you now, and I'm getting some help. Say it with me. From our insider to the stars. <laughs> Please welcome the co-host of the hugely popular Hollywood Raw podcast, and he just hit 100,000 followers on YouTube, and he got a snazzy statue to prove it. It's Dax Holt, everyone. Good morning, Dax. Good morning, Jason. How are you? I'm well. That was quite the snazzy little statue you got from YouTube. I know, right? I was like, oh, look at this little piece of hardware. Uh, and it will look good on the mantle. Yeah. I think, like I said in my post, I lost two Emmys. But now I have a YouTube award. Hey. So I have something to put on the mantle. Okay. I am fascinated about this interview because I had no idea this dude was even somebody. Explain yeah. who you interviewed to the, to the folks. Okay, so we had Shiraz Hassan on, who, uh, on the podcast, Hollywood Raw, and uh, a lot of people would not recognize the name right away, but you will recognize his work. So he is one of the guys behind the scenes. He is someone who has, over the last like 15 years, helped people become famous. And you've probably heard the names Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Zendaya, uh, oh my, I, the list goes on and on and on. Priyanka Chopra, uh, but he is kind of the mastermind, the puppeteer behind getting these people to where they are and, and fame. And uh, he did a lot with Paris Hilton back in the days. He said that he actually met her once because there were, you know, he runs a paparazzi agency and he runs a website called Hollywood TV. And he said he was tired of having his guys kind of like wade through the water to try to get shot. So he went up, knocked on her door and said, hey, I want to help you out and I want to make this mutually beneficial for both of us. They started working together and if you watched her latest documentary uh, that she just released on YouTube like a couple days ago, he is all over it. He is her social media strategist. He helps her make big moments in the press, helps her, you know, uh, extend her fame basically. And he also helped Kim Kardashian when she was just Paris Hilton's kind of right hand person. He was the one getting her out there pitching her photos, getting her in magazines on the cover. And he said, there were so many times when I would pitch the name Kim Kardashian and people said no. He goes, they said no to me hundreds of times, but I saw that there was some spark in Kim that I wanted to help her become famous. And I, I mean, he tells all these unbelievable stories of set up moments that as the public we thought were real or, you know, but he was setting them up to generate press for people. Like if you remember the Logan Paul, or I'm sorry, Jake Paul wedding when his wife got champagne poured on her. Yeah. That was all set up by Shiraz. He literally paid some guy $10,000 to pour champagne on the, on the wife at the moment that they said, I do for press. It's unbelievable. It was the most fascinating interview. So all this time we were thinking just this, that we were thinking, oh, this is all for publicity, when in fact it really was all for publicity. <laughs> okay, but like other moments like Jessica Simpson uh, when the PETA protesters walked in on her book signing, uh, apparently he orchestrated that. He orchestrated what was it? Oh, one of the fascinating parts, he said that he used to work with Meghan Markle and they used to do set up photos with her and the paparazzi back in the day because she wanted to be famous. Uh, that was a really interesting one. I'm trying to think what else we had. Uh, there was just like story after story after story. Kim K getting flower bombed. Do you remember when that happened? Yeah. That was orchestrated as well. I mean, it was just mind blowing interview. So, uh, and he's also starting up a master class right now because he's like, you know what? I've got all this knowledge. I might as well teach people how to become famous. So he's starting up Fame by Shiraz master class, and you go and you can learn how to become famous yourself. Oh wow, I. That, I don't know if I want to take that class. <laughs> you know. do, Jason. Yes, you do. No. And it's all, it's all about generating these moments of press, free press for yourself or for other people. And, and that's really what's worked for him over the years. And he's made a, a, quite a living out of it. I'll tell you that much. Uh, oh, you know what else he's set up? Yeah. Do you remember the J-Lo $2 million performance for like 20 minutes? Over, uh, I forget where it was, Dubai oh, or something. It was, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was in the United Arab, uh, Arab, Arab Emirates, wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah, that was him. He negotiated that deal for her. Okay, I'm gonna listen. As soon as the show's over, I'm gonna listen to you on my way home. Fascinating <laughs> conversation. Thank you, really, buddy. Really, really fun interview. You'll love it. Thank you, Dax. Hold everybody. Check out the Thanks, Hollywood Jason. Raw podcast wherever you get your podcast. I will be downloading that. I won't be taking that class. But no. That. 
I'm interested to hear his perspective on how does he feel now? Like, does right. he have any regrets? I'm very curious, all the people that he dishes about, if any of them will say something or say, oh, that's not true, or, you know, like yeah. where it's going to, where the feedback will come.